One red. A clear tactic from Wales off the top of the line out. Roberts straight into Ford. Ford tackling his man. Ten minutes left. Wales still within range. Muck. And if they get level from here, let alone win the game, what character, what an effort that would represent. Good hands there Brilliant for Bigger hands. to find North. Then it's Cuthbert. They simply can't afford any more injuries. There's nobody left on the bench. No! Wales have just suffered as well in attack with just too slow in the rut. Here's Jamie Roberts, draws the man, and away goes Lloyd Williams, out of position, the scrum half on the wing, and here's Gareth Davis, he's picked it up and he's scored! What a try for Wales! Sean? A team proving... I want to know... ...that their nation has been waiting for this he's on from time. the moment the draw was made. What character! Onside, number nine red. Is Needs to be checked. Offside? Just want to check. Uh, I'll him. Yeah. Lloyd Williams, the makeshift winger. Kick the ball inside. Was it offside? Totally Nowhere onside. near. It's a beautiful kick. Gareth Davis, two, three, possibly four metres behind the man who kicks the ball. That man is Lloyd Williams. What vision, what execution. And then it still needed picking up. That's what you get, Miles, when you put two scrum halves so on the pitch. Sure. Yeah. If the ball was not offside, you may award a try. Thank you. What a try. Brilliant by Wales, finding the gap. Owen Farrell jumping out of the line. England getting too narrow in defence. Wales being patient, keeping hold of the ball. And brilliant from Williams. Superbly supported by Gareth Davies. Here it is, mismatch. It looks like it was Barrett that went too far ahead and then the tracking of Davies under the sticks, the pace to get there. Wales firmly back in this game. England bring on Kieran Brooks with Dan Cole at tight head. Half of the family is happy. <laughs> William and Harry living like us all every moment of this. Outside. And Kate too. But... And Jamie Roberts knows that ball has to a long way downfield there. Ford puts it back. And Priestland takes. Those two will be fighting it out at club level when all this ends at Bath. But they have no thought for that at the moment. Warburton. What a hit. And bigger. Again, putting it back on England. Under eight minutes now. All level. You can see that how tense it is. Ford, two kicks. He's not looking to run. It's Wales with the courage to run. What a fight this is from Wales. Samson Lee. It's inspired, decimated by injuries. Inspired by the squad. Adversity. I won't say has drawn them together. They're clearly together. They didn't need the adversity, but. They now have a penalty. Wales just inside the England half. They are scrapping, they are fighting for everything, and they have the host rocking here. Nobody can say they do not deserve this turnaround. Warburton again, in the 72nd minute, showing his fitness and his desire to disrupt and beat England. Huge hit on Weber. And that was with the ball in hand, getting this team over the game line. Falatao at eight is starting to have an impact on this game. 
And they are getting the ascendancy on England. And Bigger just hasn't looked like missing. He's got the Neil Jenkins distance as well. Seven from seven, an incredible display. And if this goes over, huge pressure on England and their tactics. Has he got the half penny distance here? He's certainly got the adrenaline. Absolutely. This is going over. He'll never have a better moment to have more adrenaline in the body. Bigger, he's got it, it's there! We asked all week, what is Warren Ball? I think we have the definition. Priestland ran straight over to him. The huge respect these guys have as kickers. And he was fair play. That was incredible metal. And Wales deservedly in front. What can England do to spark a response? Now the question here, do Wales try and just close it out or keep playing? You sense they will just keep playing, it is serving them well. They are rattling England to the core here. Players out of position, bench used, men carried off. Damn bigger a rock. But Wales now giving the penalty away. That's how we started. Very unlucky. Give the opportunity to the touch up. Just very unlucky. Another amazing kick. I think it was bigger. What a performance he has had. For you. All the talk you. of Wales missing Lee Harpenny. Well, with Liam Williams solid at fullback. And Dan Bigger, he's now going to his forwards and he's inspiring them. Tapping Warburton. Inspired. What response have England got dominating the game for so many minutes in so many metres made. Line outs dominating. What can they do? Weber throws. There's a hand on it. He's had a chance there to steal it. Oh, under pressure, they've dominated all evening, and that was just pressure. Toll from Wales. Vanapola. Wigglesworth. George Ford now trying to orchestrate the comeback. And again, to find Farrell and Anthony Watson. And these players in the red shirt, they just, they're inspired. Everything they do, the big hits in midfield, they're back on their feet. Look at Tipperick going in there again. Wigglesworth, Ford, Brown. One eye on the clock at all times. Penalty England, they had a chance to equalise. Seven. Warburton can't quite believe it. Same with Roberts. The senior guys in this squad, they cannot believe they've given a penalty away. They were dominating the defence, big hits in the midfield. Getting off their field. It's amazing what going ahead when it would seem all is lost and the decimation of injuries, but he was involved in the tackle. I don't know. He should have released. It's the right call from Garces. If you tackle the man, even if you're supporting, you have to show that you're releasing once he goes to deck. And they go for the corner. England go for the corner, they go for the win. And the England supporters on their feet. They know they're needed, the 16th man. It's been all Wales in the second half. England lose this, they have a knife-edge game against Australia. They're going for the win, a draw still leaves both of these teams in a precarious position. And that's pressure. This is the first time they've gone to the front to Robshaw. They've been using Laws, Parling, Wood and Robshaw at the front. It's easy for Wales to defend. Not even a shift drive. Look, easy ball here. They've got Charteris, Tipperick, all in there. Alan Wynne Jones, it's easy for them to defend. Charteris takes. 
The English eyes are wide, the players are staring. And they can't afford to give a penalty away there. They need possession back, which they've got. It's not a big distance kick. And they've got another charge. Marlon knows, he knows England have dominated this game. They've been in charge for most of the facets. They've won the scrums. Line out has been fantastic for 70 minutes. And when the pressure comes on and it's crucial, you need to hit your man at the right area. Gatland under, just, can't, just can't gather his thoughts. It's all in the eyes at the moment, isn't it? And Wales pounds on Messi, England ball. One minute to close this out. Charged down by England. Go back for the, the knock-on at the scrum under the most pressure. England are failing. The line-outs have not functioned. Catty knows, Mike Cat attack coach. He knows when the pressure Wales have hung on in there, used all of their players. Wales have hung on in there. And under the most amount of pressure, England are not performing and not making the right calls. The most important scrum of the match. This is where England were on top. They're not now. They were on top on the scoreboard. They're not now. Time is ticking and everybody knows it. Valatau comes away, needs support. It is seconds now. Wales can count it down. Davis looks to the referee. Little glance at the clock. He's all aware. Wales are going to win this. They've done it. Bigger. Off the field. Wales have done it. They have beaten England at Twickenham in England's World Cup. As if the beating of